I'm Tina Stenitis with Dynamic Discs and I wanted to give you an insight into what I throw and what's in my bag. Uh, we'll start with the Ranger. I've got the gray version. I love this thing. I've heard that it's a little top heavy or bulky, but it's not for me at all. Um, there's plenty of storage up here. Um, I've got towels and scorecards and anything I need in there. Um, two water bottle holders and a pocket for whatever you need. So I love this bag. It's, it's really great for me. Um, we'll start with putters. Putting with these Classic Blend Wardens. I just switched fairly recently. Um, these glide really well for me and they go really straight. I putted with Marshalls for a little bit, made the switch to these and it makes the inside the circle putts a lot easier for me to hit. Um, so anything inside of 50 feet, I'll be putting with a Warden, especially headwind putts. I love these. But every once in a while, for anything longer than that, I like to take out my Swan. I'm waiting for the deputy to come out, so I'll probably switch to that. But for now, the Swan is straight, glidey, and I like to throw this as well for understable putter shots. This has gotten me out of a lot of trouble, and I like to throw it on a sidearm to get out of some like tricky situations too. So the Swan, I actually, I throw this a lot more than I thought I ever would. As for mid-ranges, I have two Claymores. I have uh, one from Cynthia with the Christmas bunny on it. This is a Gold Line or the Dimax version. It's a little more stable for me. I use Claymores in general for good flexi shots that I want to finish pretty straight. Um, this Opto for sure I'm using for shots that'll go straight and might even finish to the right from backhand. Um, I do throw these sidearm too. They glide a lot. They go really straight um, and they work well in the woods for sure. Um, this is one of my favorite discs in my bag. It's an Emac Truth. I have the Lucid version and this, as soon as I found this disc, completely changed my game. Uh, for me, it goes pretty straight. Sometimes it'll come over to the right backhand, but it's always going to finish left for me. I will sidearm this sometimes, but it's a really trusty backhand mid-range shot for me. And this thing goes forever, so even a 200-foot up shot, I know this is going to be exactly where I want it to be um, instead of throwing a driver for a shot like that. But Emac Truth, this disc seriously changed my game. And... New to us, I've got a prototype slammer in here. This disc is really good. It's comparable to my Justice. For me, I don't get a ton of distance out of it. I use it as a utility disc. I love this on a sidearm. You can really crank on it and it's gonna fade. It's very overstable. Um, and same with backhand, I rarely power grip a putter, but I will power grip the slammer because it's gonna fight no matter what I do. Um, and in a headwind, it'll go like pretty much dead straight and still finished. So super reliable disc and I love reliable discs. Okay, well it's a putter, but I use it as a mid-range. This Justice, I have a Lucid Justice. Um, I use it pretty much the same as that, but this is gonna get a little more action on the ground than the Slammer does because of the plastic type. This is a Lucid version. So it might skip a little bit, but really this Justice dumps for me. Um, I use it utility in the woods. I use it on a sidearm, I use it backhand. Uh, get some really good skip shots, um, but I use this disc a lot. Gets me out of a lot of trouble. So let's move on to drivers or fairway drivers. Another overstable disc, a felon. Um, I use, don't really use this off the tee very often, but I get out of trouble shots that I really want to skip. Um, I use it on a sidearm a lot. I use it backhand. They don't go that far for me, maybe 200 feet, but they're super reliable and they're good in wind too. They're always going to do pretty much the same thing for me. Got that black ink disc stamp on there. This is an Opto Culverin and a Lucid Convict, that whale sex stamp. Um, these discs are kind of interchangeable for me. I was throwing a Culverin for a long time, but once uh, the Convict was put in my hand, I, I have a hard time taking the Culverin out of my bag, but they're pretty much the same disc. They'll go really straight for me and they're still going to finish pretty hard. So if I've got a tunnel shot that I, I know I need to get left, I can throw a backhand shot, it'll go dead straight, and it's still going to fade pretty much no matter what I do. Um, I also like the Convict especially for sidearm shots. Wooded Golf, this is my go-to. Um, again, another really reliable disc. It's not necessarily overstable, but it does have that overstable finish for me. And I've got mostly lighter weights in these, maybe 168 for most of the drivers that I throw. 
sheriff overload. I have three sheriffs in my bag right now. Um, they all do something a little bit different. I've got a, let's see, let's start with the Lucid. This one's actually relatively overstable for me. It's 167 or 168, um, but for whatever reason, it's more of a meat hook for me, but really glidey. So I use this for distant shots that I know I want to get left. Um, I kind of use this interchangeably with my Biofusion Defender. Um, this will fight, the Defender will fight a uh, headwind more than a Sheriff will, so. But I use them pretty much for the same thing and they always have a lot of action skipping and stuff on the ground when they land, so. Don't really use them for sidearm that much, but for a reliable backhand I will. And then I have two Fusion Sheriffs. This one's been in my bag for a little bit. It's a 174, um, but man does this thing glide. I use this for my almost all my distance shots. Um, especially on windy days and I guess this one's a little bit lighter but it's a little more stable so I just haven't really beat it up that much but um, these fusion sheriffs just cruise they go so far uh, they're reliable for me and it's my go-to distance driver right now but alongside that is the trespass um, I have a fusion trespass this thing is amazing um, and I, I can get a little more flex with these than I can with the sheriff so this is like my number two uh, distance driver. Two stags. I use the stag for straight shots and some turning. They're not, they're not understable for me. They're not really overstable either. They're pretty much just a straight flyer, um, but I can use them for some flexy shots. I don't really throw them for sidearm, but in really wooded golf, these things come in handy because they go pretty straight and I don't have to throw them very hard. Um, that's kind of the benefit is I can come off my power so I can hit my lines a little more accurately. Um, I have a gold line ballista. I used to use this more before I had the sheriff, but I still use it for shots that I really want to S curve and turn back. Um, I used to use it as a, a main distance driver, but now it's more for working really specific lines and still getting distance. Um, it's a gold line. The optos are a little too flippy for what I like them for. And two more. These are kind of my uh, utility flex shot kind of discs. I've got a Goldline Fury and a Westside Discs Underworld. So these are both my roller discs as well as um, if I throw them on a hyzer, they're going to flip up and beeline to the right for me so I can work some really fun um, anhyzer shots with them. The Underworld's way more flippy than the Fury is, but it, I find it useful, I just can't put a ton of power on it. But I can also like line up with the sidearm and throw it on a hyzer and it's still going to flip up and go the other way. So I can find some fun wooded shots with both of these discs. Well, looks like that's it. So uh, that's my in the bag and I hope it uh, gives you a little insight into what I like to throw.